Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping back by. Today's video is going to be super delicious. <laughs> we are going to be making some shop from home meals. So over the past month or so, I have filmed random meals and to put them into one video. So I have several shop from home meals for you guys. So one of the good things I feel like is when you have a good stock, if you have a freezer stock, a pantry stock, prepper pantry, you're really able to have the freedom to kind of shop at home, see what you have on hand and make meals off of that. So that's how this video is. I used what I had in the freezer, what I had in the pantries, what I had in the fridge, and I just got the inspiration from home and made us some delicious meals. So I really hope this inspires you to go see what you have, check it out. Even if you make a list to go through your freezers, your fridge, your pantry, and be like, okay, I have this, so, and I have that. So why don't I put that together and make a meal out of it? <laughs> That's one of the things I love about having stock like this is because I can do that. I can have the freedom to shop from home and see what I have and use what's on hand. Um, and it also helps for when we need to have a low spend week, well, a real low spend week, our last low spend week, we didn't do very good. But when we really need to like buckle down and have a low spend, then I can do that because I have all this stock here. So I hope that this video inspires you to see what you got and use what you have at your house. So let's go ahead and get started. So another perfect pantry staple dinner for us is a hamburger helper. This is one of the kind of things that I keep in my stock room. So we always have them on hand for quick and easy dinners, low spend, um, anything like that. So I've got a pound of ground beef here that I've pulled from the freezer. Um, I thawed it out. I'm just gonna cook it up. And then I always have these on hand, like I said, and then we always have milk. So I always have everything. This one I like too it says you can also use hot dogs which i thought was cool because it gives you different options and i know a lot of them you can do chicken as well so it'd just be totally up to you what you had on hand um what you wanted to use and then we always have canned veggies we normally do either corn or peas with our hamburger helper um, so this time i just pulled a can of peas from the pantry so this is another quick and easy pantry meal So here is the hamburger helper as is, it's all cooked. Now, um, depending on what you have in your um, stock up or fridge or freezer, you can always add in extra cheese, shredded cheese, or um, you can even do like peppers and onions when you cook the hamburger meat. You can add in mushrooms, you can add Velveeta, bacon bits, whatever you have in your house. Of course, all of these meals throughout this video will vary for you, depending on what you have. <laughs> But here's another quick and easy pantry staple meal. We are going to be making some quick pantry staple fridge staple pizzas. Um, so I'm gonna go through and tell y'all where everything came from. Um, and then just show you how I put it together. Everybody knows how to make pizza, but I thought for this video, I would just kind of give you some inspiration of stuff that you can throw together that you probably have in your house and make a meal. Doesn't necessarily have to be dinner. It can be lunch, breakfast. I'm just gonna kind of do that for this video. I'm just kind of share with you stuff that we throw together last minute. So these I keep, um, I try to find these on Markdown whenever I can. Um, at Kroger and I'll just throw these in the deep freeze. So this came from the deep freeze. The pepperonis and the cheese and the sauce all was in the fridge. Um, I had used that for Winston's uh, pizza quesadilla for his lunch. And so I'm not gonna let this jar go to waste of course. So we'll use it um, throughout the week. And then I can always freeze what's left over. Um, but I'm using that for the sauce. And then all the cheese and the pepperonis we already had in the fridge so this is one of the perfect examples of 
throwing a meal together based off what you have in your fridge and your freezer. So this is one of these just throw together lunches <laughs> um, with what we have here. So Friday I went to Aldi and I picked up some slider buns. I did I just picked them up. I didn't like have a recipe for them, but I thought I had this pulled pork thawed and I had this on the menu for dinner, but we're actually having it for lunch. So I put some of the pulled pork on there, added some barbecue, added what cheese we had in the, um, what sliced cheese we had left in the fridge and then used barbecue that we had in the fridge. And so I just put together some pulled pork barbecue sliders. <laughs> That's one of the good things. You can just look through your house and see what you have. And normally you can come up with some delicious lunches or dinners. Um, I am gonna go ahead and cover this with some foil um, and let it cook for about 15 minutes covered just so that pork can heat through um, in the center. And then I'm going to take it off, put a glaze over it, and, and put it back in there for about 15 more minutes. Another great shop from home meal I feel like is breakfast. We always have everything for breakfast. Luke's not a huge fan of breakfast for dinner or lunch, but if I can do like an early lunch, like where it's kind of brunch, then he's cool with it. <laughs> um, so we always have those Grand's biscuits. I just keep those in the freezer. We always have bacon and we always have eggs and cheese. So this is just one of those like all in one. We always have everything here. Perfect to get us fed. It is just me tonight for dinner. Winston is at my grandparents and Luke is asleep. So we're gonna do another just random pantry meal. <laughs> this was not on the meal plan. I pulled this stuff out of the pantry, freezer and fridge. So I have no clue what I'm gonna make, but we'll just make it together. I've got about half of a bag of broccoli. I won't use all of this, but I'll use some of it. I pulled this sweet bourbon glaze out of the fridge. That's what I'm gonna season everything with, like have like a sauce with it. Like I said, I have no clue what I'm making. I'm gonna do half of this um, Polish kielbasa and then I have a potato, so I don't know. Let's just figure this out together. Some kind of sausage and veggie hash. 
with bourbon glass? Let's see. Okay, so I have some butter melting. The potatoes are gonna take a little longer to cook, so I'm gonna do those first. And then I forgot that I had some peppers and onions already cut up. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that. Y'all know I'm not a huge fan, but they're cut so small, it makes it really easy to kind of throw them in here and me not be able to get the texture of them and just get the flavor. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that in. What is it about peppers and onions that just smells so good? So I'm just gonna cook these up for a couple minutes. I'm gonna season them, of course. I'm gonna go in with some of the Kinder's red garlic, y'all already know. That's my jam. And the garlic pepper season. If y'all have not tried the Kinder's Red Garlic, it is so good. You definitely need to. So I'm just going to let these cook up for a little bit till they're, I don't know, maybe about halfway done and then I'll add in my sausage so it can get sauteing up as well. It's already cooked, so I just like to get some color on it. So I took another look in my fridge and I forgot that I had these shredded carrots in the fridge. So we're gonna use up some of them. This is gonna be one of the perfect examples to shelf cooking because this is the perfect pantry, fridge, freezer meal. <laughs> Using what you got and making something delicious. So I like mine cooked down quite a bit, so I went ahead and added them in so they can cook up the potatoes. So I've added in my sausage, I've added in some broccoli. Now I'm just gonna add some salt, pepper, garlic powder. It looks good and it smells good. So now I'm going to add some of this bourbon glaze. Give it a decent coating. And then it'll be time to eat. And that's it y'all. Added some sesame seeds on top. And it smells so good. I'm ready to eat. And that is it, y'all. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some inspiration to see what you have in your house and come up with some delicious meals. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.